the first um, discussion point we're sort of going to talk about now is uh, it's um, where do you think Arsenal's season will go now? Obviously, Arsenal beat Leeds 4-2 to, um, on Sunday. Obviously, Aubameyang's back, scored a hat-trick. Where do you think Arsenal's season can go from here? You know, It's tough, I think, because the way they're going and the way you want them to go, obviously, mm. is you want them to start pushing up the table and maybe into Europe. But yeah. it's a bit of a long shot, especially because the way the teams higher up are playing, even if they did play well, they still might not get as high as they could do. Exactly. So, I mean, Tottenham aren't on a good run of form. Aston mm. Villa Aston Villa are starting to be a bit shaky. Liverpool are obviously on quite bad form. So you <laughs> could push up to sixth or seventh mm. if you're if you play well. And yeah. if Amiang keeps up his form. I say keep up his form. All he's done is scored a hat trick. <laughs> like, yeah. He's on, he's on eight goals for the season now, mm. whereas someone like Salah who's on seventeen. Yeah. It, you it's, back it's, Liverpool to stay a bit higher up than Arsenal then. So it, it's it's gonna be tough for Arsenal. I mean even if you want Champions League automatic qualification, they're eight points off. And as you said, the teams above, you know, for top four, like even, you know, it's going to be extremely tough to expect the teams above to drop points with Arsenal to keep winning. Um, obviously, last night's result against Benfica was 1-1, which is, you know, good result in terms of the Europa League. But Away then, as well. Yeah, you got the away goal as well, which is good. Um, but the next coming games for Arsenal, it's it's going to be it's tough. Not looking good. It's not at all. So you've got Man City, which will be interesting for next week. Um, Man City, Leicester, Burnley, and then Spurs. So, I mean... How and many after that, you've got West Ham and Liverpool. So. Exactly, yeah. So that's only the next four Premier League games. How many points do you reckon Arsenal can get out of that? Of Man City, Leicester, Burnley and Spurs? Well... I think you'll lose to City, but you'll find out the score later. Yeah. yeah. Um, Leicester's a tough one. Will you beat Leicester? No. You'll beat no. Burnley, I reckon. Yeah. And then yeah. Spurs will be a draw. So that's two. Four. So that's, that's like four points, yeah. Four points out, out of a possible um, 12. Yeah. Four points out of 12. Isn't looking great, especially because Spurs are ahead of you in the league. And if they yeah. win some of theirs, then. It's going to be. It's going to be. I mean, I'm happy with the Arsenal team at the moment. We've got a solid team. Um, it's getting better. The likes of Odegaard, he's, he was fantastic last night against Benfica. Um, you know, Cedric, Cedric's pretty good. Cedric Soares. Um, sorry, yeah, I like Cedric. He, he's pretty good. You know, we've got a decent bunch of players now. You know, obviously Saka, Smith Rowe as well. Um, but obviously, Aubameyang this season is. Would you would you say that the reason why Arsenal haven't been doing so well is because their main man in Aubameyang hasn't been, you know, up, to, you know, on the ball. He hasn't been up to the standards that we may have expected. I feel, yeah, I can see where you're coming from with that, to be honest. But, and I feel like when he's not been playing, I feel like Saka's almost had to try and step up mm. and fill in for him. And he's done, a good, he's done like as best as he can, but he's only young. So he can't really fill in the Aubameyang role and do everything. No. Currently. So... I feel like, to be honest, I think you're in a good position for how your season's been. Oh, my God. You, yeah. you were down in, like, 15th in the relegation yeah. zone for ages. I mean... So, I feel like a top 10 finish is actually quite good for you this season. I, and then you've got something to build on next season. Yeah, for this season, I'm happy with a top half finish. That's so yeah. sad to say, but... You shouldn't be saying that about Arsenal. I know. I know. But... Top 10 finish, I'm happy with, just because it's just been absolutely dreadful. But a Bumyang sort of come back... Although we're saying he's come back to form, obviously he scored three goals against Leeds in one game. Um, he missed an absolute. He missed so many. Well, he had you know fantastic chances last night against Benfica, which he didn't um, put away. But if Aubameyang to say he's back on form, it, it's quite an important time for him to come. You know, for him to start. Yeah, scoring especially again. with the games coming up. And yeah. After after those four games, you've only got mm. like ten games left in the season. Yeah, I mean. So. He's had, he's had his worst start to, his, to an Arsenal career in terms of goal scoring. Um, before Leeds, he'd only scored five goals in 20 Premier League games. Um, and then he started to pick things up with two goals against Newcastle. Um, but then understandably, he left the country to see his mother because his mother fell ill. So he's had a lot of up and downs this season. But if... Here you go. Let's, let, let's say this question again about um, 
about Aubameyang being the reason why Arsenal could do well. If Aubameyang does bounce back and does continue his goal-scoring form in the Premier League, maybe not against the likes of City, but against Leicester and Spurs, do you think Arsenal may have a chance of, you know, climbing back up, back up to the top, potentially towards top six, would you say? Do you think if Aubameyang was on form, they'd have a chance of getting European football? I don't think, no, I don't think you're getting Europe. I feel like the best you could probably get is seventh mm. above Everton, Aston Villa and Tottenham. Yeah. I don't know what it is about Liverpool. I just, I just can't see it. I mean, you're <laughs> six points behind them, so you have to mm. win two more games at them. However, if you, if you win your game against Liverpool yeah. in a few games' time, that could completely change it. If you do win that game and you get a few points in the games mm. before against all City and Leicester and Burnley and Spurs and West Ham, yeah. then you could even make a push for top six, but I can't see Europe. That just feels a little bit too far away. Yeah, I think, I think you're right there. It's going to be so tough to get automatic qualification in, into Europe, but even Europa League. Um, I don't think we have a chance of getting Champions League. I think the only way we can get Champions League, or you know, we we I think we have to put all our eggs into one basket, which is the Europa League. Try and win the Europa League to to um, to secure Champions League qualification. Because obviously we're at the FA Cup now, which is a which is which is a route to the Europa League. We're out of that. Obviously, you playing Spurs in the um, Carabao. Um, and then Arsenal really have no chance of getting top four, maybe even top five. Um, so do you think the only route Arsenal can, or the only route Arsenal do have is um, the Europa League to um, get European football for next season? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just don't think you'll be in Europe next season. But... It, it, do you think it might be a good thing that Arsenal won in Europe next season in terms of, you know, getting back into can... the league? Then they can push higher up next season, especially if they if they finish the season on good form, hmm. but they're not in Europe. I feel like they could do quite well next season. It would be weird with, without having the stress of all the midweek games and hmm. all the teams happy with each other. I mean, you could do all right, I guess. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, no, you're right. I mean, it, it could be it'd be weird. It, it, it wouldn't be nice to have not have European football, um, but it could be a blessing in disguise if we don't get it. You know. Next season, have a chance to fully focus on getting back into the Champions League or getting back, maybe even you know, getting back into the top four, which has always been a a crucial objective for Arsenal. Especially yeah, Arsenal are missing their standard fourth position, aren't they? No, exactly. We, we were complaining about it not long ago, and now we want it back. But yeah, I think we we'll have to see. But for Bamiang's back in form, um, back getting those goals. Um, I think it would be difficult against City, but if we really do turn up against Leicester and Spurs, you know, no disrespect to Burnley as well, against Burnley as well, um, we could, it, it could all change. It's, it's quite tight up there, isn't it? In, especially in the top half. Um, it could all change, but it's going to be tough for Arsenal, I think, to, you know, hope that teams above drop points. Yeah, I mean, you are eight points behind West Ham. So yeah. that means you've pretty much got to win three more games in them. Exactly. Do you see that happening in 14 games? <sighs> what, it's possible. It is possible. Yeah, you're but, right. But then you've got to rely on all the other teams in between you and West Ham also losing. Yeah. That's so. That. It's really tough. It's been a depressing season for Arsenal. Um, but, you know, the rebuild is still happening. It's been all right for us, I guess. Oh, the rebuild. The, yeah, yeah, the rebuild. Famous, the famous Arteta rebuild. Famous Arteta rebuild. I mean, last night against Benfica and against Leeds, playing fantastic football, the football you want to see. You know, we're no longer really sitting back as much. We're sort of playing that tiki taka passing. Um, and the defence is quite good now. You know, David Luiz, um, Gabriel and Holding, they've really been standout players this season. So, I mean, the future's bright for Arsenal. And as you said earlier, a season in, without European football might be a blessing in disguise, but we'll have to see. Um, I'll say next, I think next four games will know for sure what Arsenal's um, season future, future will be like. Yeah. But yeah. So, I mean, this season will definitely go down in Arsenal's history to be in the worst, won't it? But what we're going to move on to now 
with some historic Premier League multiple choice questions. Have you got your questions prepared? <laughs> 